can create alternative means of training pilots to a better level, a higher level of safety. Technology has made huge uh, advances in training and allowing us to better train pilots uh, to the situation they're going to operate in. Every airline pilot in this country, when they move to a new piece of equipment, they train exclusively in the simulator until they actually go fly on the line. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, mm -hmm. the first time you see that airplane, it's mm -hmm. got passengers in it. <laughs> and that's okay because you're well trained and you have mm -hmm. a check pilot with you to get your initial experience. We should be able to take, like they do in Europe and a number of other places, expose people more to the environment that they're going to operate in. They're going to be airline pilots. He or she needs to learn how to operate in a multi-crew environment. They under have to understand crew resource management and be exposed to lots of different scenarios where, you know, things go with fail an engine, we're in wind shear, we're icing. I think one of the areas we can make a lot of advantage or, or make progress in is recognizing that not all flight hours are created equally and the legislation and, and aviation rulemaking committees have looked at this and have said you're absolutely right. So we should be able to substitute quality training for a, a block of flight hours. The thing that brings lots of collaboration together is safety. And when you look at all the data and you say, well, if we did this, wouldn't it be safer? And the answer is yes. We'd have better trained pilots. I think we're going to see the ability to uh, introduce some of these new uh, technologies, uh, create a better trained pilot, and, and, and move them more quickly through the system. We need to expose people. And just developing you know, a bunch of flight time, not being exposed to that, doesn't create a safer pilot.